Hi guys, so in today's video I'm going to be building these floating LED cubes. So I want to minimize the, uh, the chunkiness of the three quarter inch by adding the slight profile to the, the front face. So I just got the, the, the pieces I need. Um, I don't really have any leftovers. I had no room to mess anything up. So I'm glad I got it all done. <laughs> A lot of profile on these pieces.
Okay, good morning guys. So last night I got the grooves or the dados for the splines uh, routed out and the splines glued in. Now I'm going to flush cut them out. Got a new toy, Japanese saw that I'm gonna use for this. <laughs> So first of all, the, the Japanese uh, saw works really great. And secondly, the little trick of adding uh, painter's tape um, first works also really nicely because I did hit it a little bit, but I think it really protected it against me scratching up the, uh, uh, the nice cherry. So that was a nice, nice tip. So these miters came out really clean and I've never actually done miters on the table saw before. They're looking really good. So I was just upstairs where this unit is going, measuring out where the studs are. Ideally, I would like to get to screw each box into the MDF and then through into the studs. Um, so two, you know, on each side. They are pretty long, they are 17 inches, so uh, I think I should be able to get that done. marking where the wires are going to go down because I want to route out a groove on the back side of the MDF board so it is nice and inset. Look at that! Everything works! So I did a similar project to this when we lived in Oregon, but we left that unit because it was attached to the house. So when we sold it, um, it came with the house. Um, and I always wanted to make another one for the new house. Um, and this is a slightly different shape, size, configuration, but the concept is the same. Looks pretty nice. So I got the uh, switch with the dimmer hooked up right now. I got all the wires from the lights, all the red ones hooked up here, all the black ones hooked up here. And on this side here, I have the uh, uh, barrel plug and the power cord, a 12 volt power plug. So red and black, and then all the reds, all the blacks. And yeah, I think it's actually kind of nice to be able to have the dimmer 
Because even though you think at first like, oh, this is not that bright, when it's dark in the room, you may just want to have a little bit of accent light. Having a dimmer and being able to lower it is, is just really nice. These are kind of like floating shelves now because all the wiring and everything is behind the scenes and so I'm gonna attach you know this whole board to the wall um, so I got the lights in looks really nice I have attached to a dimmer at the moment but yeah I really like the cherry and with the maple splines I think that is a really nice combination and then offsetting it against the white like I, I really like it when it's like all sleek like this you don't see any wires or anything um, so that's kind of nice okay what do you got is that cool? A little higher. A little higher still. Really? Okay. That's it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really enjoyed this project. Um, I'm really happy I got to do these. This is something that I, you know, just look at and use all the time. And having this little lighting, um, it just adds such a nice touch. And then to be able to, you know, display things on the shelves. I just, I just love these kinds of projects. Um, this is where it's really cool to be making things yourself because I don't even know where you would buy something like this. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.